Hey, howdy folks, Rampage here with your review for NXT for August 17, 2016. Howdy folks, so this card, or this show, was mostly put together as hype for NXT TakeOver Brooklyn 2, which happens this Saturday. I'll have my predictions coming out later this week for that. So, I'm not going to cover all the individual video packages they did in the course and like hyping what's going to happen, but they had a cool, bunch of cool packages. Uh, the one I will point out, though, is the Bailey Asuka package was amazing. Um, and it built Asuka like a monster, but like monster movie style, like jarring music, like shaky cam shots of her. I dug it. Uh, but let's go on to the actual matches and backstage promos for this evening. Uh, we start off with Hideo Itami taking on uh, Mustafa Ali, who you would recognize from the first round of the Cruiserweight Classic. I really like that they are integrating more of the CWC guys into NXT. I think we're going to see some of them on Raw as well. I like that the CWC has become a springboard for them. Uh, I thought this was a fun match. Uh, mostly Hideo Itami coming out ahead here. Uh, he does win with the running knee strike. Like I said before, I dig the running knee strike, but having Daniel Bryan formally use it as his finisher, Hideo Itami's using it, Nakamura's using it. I don't know, maybe we get a... I'd love a feud of Hideo Itami, Hideo Itami versus Shinsuke Nakamura for who gets to do the running knee strike. I think that'd be pretty cool. Uh, from there, later on, we have William Regal backstage in his office. I'm digging his office. I want the little crushed red uh, velvet pedestal that's got the brass knuckles on it. If anyone can tell me where I can find that, please let me know. It looks amazing. Uh, he basically starts hyping up NXT Brooklyn, calling it the best thing ever. And Billy Kay shows up out of nowhere with the, I've been on SmackDown. You know what? You can't have the greatest NXT event and not have me involved. And William Regal agrees and tells her she'll be facing the debuting Ember Moon. That'll be cool to see. Uh, she sort of does the whole like nod, okay, I've got this. Uh, I'm convinced at this point from these prophecy videos that Ember Moon is going to be some sort of female equivalent of Finn Balor's Demon King. I might be wrong, but that's the vibe I get, so I'm looking forward to see what happens there. Uh, from there, we have the major match of the night. Uh, Carella, Liv Morgan, and Nikki Glencross, formerly known as Nikki Storm, versus Alexa Bliss, Dario Bernardo, I think is how you pronounce her name, and Mandy Rose. Uh, Daria and Mandy are former Tough Enough competitors. Uh, I thought everything about this match was wonderful. Uh, they gave everyone their own entrances. In these big multi-person tag matches, you almost never see that. You got Nikki Glencross coming out, followed by Liv Morgan, and Carmella comes out at the end, basically not to overshadow them. It's the little things that you can do that just make all this work. Uh, same thing there, you had Daria come out, and I know nothing about her except for she had a, in the previous promo, she had her hands taped up, she had sort of the like old school sort of boxing like robe thing going on but she comes out her hair is back in like cornrows throwing punches head down sort of dark entrance i'm like oh she's a striker i get this and within like three seconds of her stepping out on the entrance room i understood who she was and what she was doing and that was amazing uh mandy rose shows up uh, and she is sort of the quintessential blonde bombshell we have not seen in a while. Almost sort of like Sable level of, okay, you could put her as a pinup in a magazine and have her wrestle in the ring. Great combination there. And my god, Corey Graves oversells Mandy Rose like Shawn Michaels selling for Hulk Hogan. It's amazing. If you haven't seen this match yet, Go watch it. Corey Graves' commentary will make you lose your mind. It's amazing. Uh, I also love this match. Everyone got their moment to shine. Uh, it started off with uh, Nikki Glencross taking on Alexa Bliss, who actually gets her comeuppance there and basically p 
starts pounding pretty heartily on Alexa Bliss, who's forced to roll out of the ring with the whole, like, what's going on here moment. I'm digging it. Uh, everyone got their moment to shine here. Uh, in the end, Carmella hits the code of silence on Mandy Rose and does take the, the win. Uh, I thought it's a great match. It's a great sign of things to come in the women's division. I like the sort of passing of the torch from the last two who just moved up to the main roster. And from there, we move on to our last promo of the evening, being a sit-down promo between Samoa Joe and Shinsuke Nakamura. Joe sitting there, khaki pants, like golf shirt, looking ready to go. Camera pans over. Got Shinsuke Nakamura sitting there. Long sleeve plaid shirt. I think it had rhinestones, like camouflage pants and sneakers. I have no idea what Shinsuke Nakamura's style is. I have no idea how he makes it work. He could very easily open his closet and roll dice to figure out what he's going to wear. But the man's got like the charisma just to walk around and pull it off. Uh, I dug this interview. It was Byron Saxton basically interviewing both of them. Very quiet, very sort of intense debate. Had security guards behind them the entire time ready to break it up if it, well, when it turns into a fight because we all know that's going to happen. But it was interesting because it sort of gets into the heart of what Samoa Joe's problem with Nakamura is. It's Joe came in, had to basically fight his way through everyone on the roster over and over and over again before he got his title match. And Nakamura comes in, wins a few matches, and boom, has a title shot. And they touch on something interesting, because Saxton turns to Samoa Joe and he's like, well, do you think Regal doesn't want you to be champion? And Joe sort of goes, well, sort of makes you think at this point. And they basically get into respect, and Joe's like, you know what? I used to respect you. And Nakamura's like, I respect you. There's a little, little weird lean thing with sort of the smile. Then Joe gets super angry, fires up, and then basically security breaks the two of them up. So you've got your match set for NXT TakeOver. Uh, I'm digging it. I love the intensity between the two of them. I think it adds a lot to the match. I think the match is going to be amazing, and I love the build for it. So that's today's look at NXT. Any questions or suggestions, please leave them in the comments down below. Please like, please subscribe, please share on your social media channels. Use the hashtag right there, Rampage Reviews. Come on, it's a WWE show. You know how the hashtags work. And that's it, and we will see you Saturday for TakeOver.